In this video, we'll look at arithmetic operations in Dart. This includes your normal plus, minus, divide, multiply, uh, modulus operators, also including augmented assignment operators and incrementing and decrementing variables. So let's start off with simple print statements so I can show you how we can use these. So the first one is what we call the addition operator. So that's just where I take 2 plus 4, 5 plus 10. So something adding something else. And if you run it, very simple, it will print out 6. So that's the addition operator. Let's try another one. We can also have something like 6 minus 2, which will be the subtraction operator. We can also have 6 times 2, which is multiplication. We can also have another simple one, 6 divided by 2, which is the division operator. Now let's run this quickly and see the output of them. So a 6 minus 2 will give you 4, 6 multiplied by 2 will give you 12, and 6 divided by 2 will give you 3. Now let's just look at dividing something else also that will give you actually a decimal value. So let's say 6 divided by 4. Now if I look at 6 divided by 4, you will see it gives me 1.5. So it gives you uh, 6 divided by 4, which is the 1, and it gives you the dot 5 there. So let's look at some other interesting ones that we can also use here as arithmetic operations. So the next one will be integer division. So in order to, do, to use this one, you use the tilde key, and then the division operator, and then maybe say 4 there. So what, what will happen here is what we call integer division. So let me run this quickly to illustrate what's happening here. So integer division will basically just say, what is 6 divided by 4? Now we know it's 1.5. So integer division with this tilde key will basically mean that it will throw away the dot 5 or the decimal part totally and keep it as an integer. Now let's look at the other part of this one. And that is the modulus operator. So we can say 6 percentage 4. And that's the part it threw away now. So this is the modulus operator. And if we run this now, 6 percentage 4 is what is 6 divided by 4? It's 1. And what is the remainder? And the remainder will be 2. So that's the modulus operator. So we can have a simple print statement here that says something like this. Let's say 6 divided by... 4 is, we can use the dollar sign and just work out that quickly. Let's say 6 divided by 4 is, and then we use 6 with the integer division. A remainder, give the remainder as dollar, and we can have that one as 6 percentage 4. So if we run this one now, it makes sense by saying, 6 divided by 4 is 1, and the remainder will be 2. So I hope you get what this integer division operator does, and also what the modulus operator does. It gives you the remainder. This one just gives you the integer of the 2 divided. Right, so these are the simple, or the normal um, operations in Dart, uh, your normal operations that you basically get in any programming language, um, maybe with slightly different changes here and there. So let's look at the next part, which is augmented assignment operators. So I'm going to have an example here of int x equals 5. So I'm declaring a variable called x, can hold all the integers, and I'm saving the value 5 in it. So let's say I want to add 3 or 4 to that variable. I can go and say x equals x plus 4. And now if I print it out, let's say we print out x. Uh, I'm just going to use a print statement here and use a bunch of stars there. So if we run this now, we will first see the stars as a new section, and there's the 9. Okay, so we printed out 9. So what happened? We started with 5, and we added 4 to that x variable. So 5, five plus 4 
will give you the 9 that we printed out. So there's also these augmented assignment operators that say, well, wait, there's a faster way to do this. So instead of just doing that, I'm going to comment it out so it doesn't read it, is to go and say x plus equals 4. And then that x plus equals 4, if I run it again, you'll see it still gives me the 9 there. Just wait for it. There we go. It's still 9. So essentially, this line and this line will do exactly the same thing. And this we call an augmented assignment operator. So it's a shorter way of writing something like x equals x plus 4. So we can just say x plus equal 4. In the same way, we can go and say x minus equal 4, which means I will be deducting 4 from that variable. I can also say x multiply equals 4 which means I will take x equals x multiplied by 4. I can also say x divided um, equals 4. And that will first divide, or that will say x equals x divided by 4. But just note that in order for this to work with the division, you'll need to declare your variable as a double so that we can divide. Okay, so I'm going to leave it as an int there. So you can use that one. You can also use the modulus operator. So you can say percentage equals 4. And you can also use the integer division 1. So we can also say x like that. So you can see that we can use all of these operators that we had there at the top. We can use again as augmented assignment operators also. So just note that we can use it like this and we'll probably use it a lot when we're going forward so just make sure that you know how these work then incrementing and decrementing let's declare a variable int people at shop so let's say you've got a small application on your phone and every every time somebody um, comes into the shop you need to keep track of it for this covid uh, coronavirus so we'll say int people at shop equals let's say there's currently 20 employees in the shop so when you start the day you will start with 20 people at the shop so i can go and say every time people at shop every time somebody else runs into the shop i will increment which means i'm just basically going to add to it or decrement subtract from it so i can go and say plus equal one and in this case we will just be basically be doing what we said here as an augmented assignment operator. I'm saying people at the shop should be people at the shop, which is 20 plus 1. So it will go to 21. So if I print out this one, uh, people at shop, then you will see it's going to print out a 21 for me. Okay, so let's just add a print statement here also with a few stars. So we know that's the last section we're at there. Okay, so you can see there's the 21. Okay, so it's basically 20 plus 1. So another way of doing this, instead of using augmented assignment operators, we can also use what we call increment operators, and that's the plus plus, just a plus plus at the end. And you can see there, it will also give me the same output, 21 still. So by saying people at shop plus plus, we're in fact just adding 1. To 20 and it will be 21 and that's what it prints out but instead of saying plus plus there we can also put the plus plus at the front so we can say plus plus people at shop and run again and you can see it will give us the exact same output 21 all right so why have a plus plus that works at the front and a plus plus that actually works at the end which is uh, incrementing uh, well let's look at an example quickly on how this works so we call this one where the plus plus is at the at the front we call it a pre-increment operator and when it's at the end we call it a post-increment operator so uh, let's look at the difference between the two so i'm gonna uh, let's, let's just create another one so let's say we start with int y equals 10 and i want you to see the difference now i'm going to print out plus plus y and i'm also going to print out just the value of y 
Okay, and I think I'm going to remove these print statements, all of them quickly. Let's see what we have on the screen. So if we run it now, we've got those stars and 11 and 11. So let's see what happens here. What is the difference between plus plus y and y plus plus? So let's look at this. I'm declaring y as 10. I'm going to print out, and if the plus plus is in the beginning of my variable, we call that a pre-increment, then it means that I'm first going to increment before I'm going to print out. So let's increment the y. So y is 10 currently. Let's add 1 to it because that's what the plus plus does. We saw it here. The plus plus will just add 1 to it. So I'm going to say plus plus y, which will be 11, and I'm going to print out the 11. And if I print y, y is 11, so it's going to print out 11. But look at how it changes if I say y plus plus. So now what happens is we print out y first, and then we increment y. So that's a post increment now. So if we run this now, you will see y starts at 10. Then we print out y first, which is 10. And then we increment y, which means we add 1 to it. So after we print it, we add 1, which will make that one 11. And then we print out that 11. And that's the 11 we see. So that's the difference between having the plus plus at the end versus having it at the beginning. Okay, we'll do an exercise on this also so you can see the difference. The last thing I want to show you here is that we talked about incrementing now. Incrementing means making more, basically just adding one. And decrementing now means making less. So the same way I did here, instead of using plus plus, I can also use minus minus. And the same year, I can use minus minus there. And if I run, then I will be deducting instead of adding to it. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one.